Hello and welcome to this new session on JMeter tips and tricks and today we are going to see how to find logs in JMeter. So let's get started and let me go to my JMeter and I am using JMeter 4.0 so you can see this look and feel for JMeter 4.0 and here in your JMeter if you go to the top right you will find this option for log viewer. If you click this option you will find the logs displayed at the bottom of your JMeter screen and you can select different log levels for that you have to go to the options menu and go to log level and you can select error warning info debug and trace so most of the times when you are uh, debugging your JMeter scripts you want to go to debug log or if you want to see only the errors you can go to error logs and so on also if you go to your JMeter folder and if you go to your JMeter bin folder you will find a file by the name JMeter logs. So here are all the logs written so you can open this file and you will find the logs all the logs written on this file and also you can go to this website the JMeter website and here they have some information about logging and error and this says since JMeter 3.2 JMeter logging is not configured through property files but it is done through Apache log4j. So again if you go to your JMeter bin folder you will find a file by the name log4j2.xml. So this is the file where the logs are configured and uh, let me also just show you a very quick example. Let us go to any website let me go to my website lifecharger.org and let me create a very quick test in JMeter. I am adding a new thread group and then I will add a sampler HTTP request and I will just add the domain name. I do not need HTTP here and that's it. Let me also very quickly add a listener here view results tree. And now uh, let me make the log level here as error. So I should only get the error log and you can also see it has changed the log level error. And now let me clear everything and let me run it. So I do not want to save and just run a single request and you can see I have got the response but if you see in the log viewer window there are no logs because there are no errors it will only show the errors and we have set the log level to error and there are no errors so we are not getting anything if I change this to to info and now let me run it again and now you can see it is showing us all the information logs and similarly if I make the log level as debug now if I run it again let me just clear everything and run it again you can see now it is showing me all the info and debug logs as well. So this is how you can see different kinds of logs in JMeter and this will be very handy while you are creating your scripts while you are troubleshooting and while you are analyzing the failures. So I hope this session was useful for you. If you like this session please hit the like button share it with others and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I will meet you in the next session. Thank you for watching.